Welcome everyone, in today's tutorial I will show you how to create keyboard mapping file for ZoomPlayer allowing you to change what each key pressed while ZoomPlayer is focused does and also uh, how to map multimedia keys from your keyboard or your extra mouse buttons and even create uh, global hotkeys which work when ZoomPlayer is not focused Okay, to begin with, we will open the options dialog. And go to the keyboard section. As you can see, there are two types of uh, keyboard mapping files for Zoom player. One for media mode, which also uh, works with the audio mode. And one for DVD mode. Uh, this is required only because uh, DVDs has uh, some special functions that you may not uh, need in media mode. Okay, to begin with, we click on the new slash edit button and we pick out uh, a new file name. So, uh, for example, we'll just call it uh, new mapping and press enter. What you are presented with now is a, a dialog which shows the current keyboard mapping, the default one. Um, basically, it's divided into multiple sections. You can see the uh, keys. Modifier means uh, the Alt key being pressed or the Shift key being pressed. Like here, as you can see. And then you have the type. There's several types of uh, functions you can assign keys to. For example, here you can see navigation functions. You can see some standard functions. And there's, as you can see here, some extended functions. And basically you can use this search box to search for a function and then you can edit it. So let's search for the play function. And then press uh, enter to start the search. And as you can see, it finds play in reverse, and there is also play and pause. Uh, I can remove this function, uh, this key mapping. Right now it's assigned to the P key for play pause. Uh, I can edit it, or I can add uh, a new key entirely. So let's uh, edit the play pause. This, is, this dialog is used to display the current state of uh, uh, this key. As you can see the function is set to play pause and you can choose from any function through this pull down menu or you can press this button to get uh, the function from a, a more uh, orderly list. And here you just press the key. Right now it's set to P but for example if I press uh, O you can see the key changes to O. Here, here you can select the modifier, uh, which means that this function will only uh, trigger if uh, you have a combination of the modifier and the key being pressed. Right now, this is a standard function. You can change it to an extended function. Uh, these are the extended functions. Uh, an extended function is a function that has a value. For example, if you set it to set the aspect measure, uh, ratio mode, you can set the value, the uh, a number that uh, represent the mode. For example, zero is the disabled aspect ratio mode, one is source, two is derived, and so forth. Next, you can have a multimedia key. Uh, unlike a standard key, multimedia keys are uh, the keys that come on both uh, multimedia keyboards, you know, the keys that uh, have uh, uh, sometimes play, pause, next track, some, sometimes even a home button or a, a, even a calculator button. Uh, so you simply uh, click on the multimedia key and it will register here, or you can type in its number. And again, you have the same functions. You can select. Next, you have the navigation key. Uh, basically, Zoom Player by default uses uh, the arrow keys and the enter keys 
to navigate this means navigation through the uh, full screen media center interfaces and lastly you have a global hotkey the global hotkey allows you to uh, create uh, functions that are accessible even when the player is not in focus this is useful uh, when playing uh, audio files for example which means you can uh, skip to the next track or previous track without having to first click on the player uh, after we select our function we'll currently leave it as it was even return the key and press ok and we're done press ok again and we have a new file with this keyboard mapping right now i'll give you some example of existing keys uh, these are the multimedia keys that are mapped uh, to the usual keys you see on the most multimedia keyboard which is the next and previous chapters stop play pause these two keys uh, are actually coming from uh, the additional um, mouse buttons some uh, mouse have uh, more than the just uh, right click left click and scroll wheel they'll have additional buttons you can use this to uh, map uh, these buttons to a zoom player function once we're done we press ok and as you can see we have our new keyboard mapping file if we want to edit it we just click on edit again and if we want to go back to the default mapping you simply press the default button and that's it for this tutorial i hope you found it informational and come visit us again